Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Another Star. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. In the last episode, we, um, we escaped from the... I think it's Multap? Molten? Clan? They have such funny names that I always forget them. But yeah, we escaped, and these are the perpetrators right here. They captured um, the Star Child. And then our good friend Eva ran off with the Star Child, leaving us all by ourselves. So that's kind of unfortunate. But I'm sure she'll join us again one day. Or at least I hope so. Um, okay, so we can't come here anymore because they would recognize us. And then we'd be in big trouble. So we'll just kind of keep going and go somewhere else. Uh, we have to go back to our chief to tell him what happened. So I'm not really sure if there's anything else we can learn on our way. So there you go. We, I think Kill Flare is getting slightly stronger. Um, oh yeah, it's at a level 2 now. Interesting. Well, that's really good. Um, this clan is loyal to Clan Plaus. And we traded in a lot of money. A lot of loot. We had a lot of loot, now we have a thousand gold pieces, which is pretty freaking amazing. Uh, the fishermen say that a war party from Clan Malta passed by recently. Fearing for their safety, they sent word to Clan Plaus, but so far nothing bad has happened. Tai Chi can feel his heart beating a little faster inside his chest. Well, I guess that kind of means that uh, they might be going after our good friend. And by good friend, I, just, I do mean uh, clan. They might be going out for a fight. I really need to know what this fishing bait stuff does, but maybe I'll figure out another way. And we earned the title Breadwinner. And we get this for accumulating a thousand gold. Well, that's nice. No doubt he's already spent most of it at this point, though. Nope, not true. I have it all here. Alright, let's keep using some of this flare magic. It's very strong and kills a lot of monsters. And since they died in the first round, we tend to heal it all back up instantly. Was there a clan here? No, there wasn't. And this is where Eva is from. So, let's go in, see? This is Plaus Village, the home of Clan Plaus. They are a rival of Tai Chi's Clan Minas. But the two clans are currently at peace. My goodness, why am I so yawny? There's something about this game that makes me very yawny. Alright, so before we go see the chief, let's get some news. The village, the village is in an uproar. A war party from Clan Maltup was spotted moving east through Clan Plaus territory. The warriors of Clan Plaus were mobilized, but by then the war party was already gone. Chief Ranagan was not yet ordered, has not yet ordered his warriors to stand down in case the war party returns. Huh, I see. So anything here that's good to buy. Nope, and let's get our blessing from the chieftain, I guess. Um, a warrior of Tai Chi's level should bring a gift of 125 gold pieces to... Oh, wow, that's a lot. Uh, he agrees to receive Tai Chi. So you are Tai Chi, the Prince of Clan Minas. I haven't heard much about you. Are you really the son of Chief Yodin? Well, it doesn't matter. Have fun of your star... Uh, okay, never mind. He didn't say anything else, though he did give us another, uh, another blessing. I was kind of hoping for something better. I'm not really sure what the blessing does anymore, though. Well, I better hurry back to uh, our clan, Clan Minus, or Minus, so we can find out what happened. And uh, so they're loyal to no clan, of course. So any news? The hunters say a war party from Clan Maltup just passed by. They urge Sashi to hurry home and. In case Mina's village be their target. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is our clan over here. Let's hope everything's okay. As Saichi near, nears home, he spots large plumes of smoke rising in the distance. Ah, those bastards. Tachi hears his name being called. Tachi! Clan Maltup attacked us while you were away! They didn't even declare war first! You must go see your father right away! It's terrible! Oh no, he doesn't look like he's in good shape. Curse Clan Maltup, this was no raid, it was war. Clan law dictates that such an attack cannot be carried out without a public declaration of war to the other clans. Taichi, we tried our best. 
Please do not lose heart, Tachi. Be strong. How could we let this happen? Are we really so weak? Father, what happened? Tachi, my son. My strength failed me in battle, and this is the result. It will be okay, right? Somebody go fetch a shaman. Tachi, calm yourself. There is nothing more that can be done. I am too far gone. No, don't say that. You're the clan chief. If you die, then the next generation will just have to step up a little sooner. I'm sorry. I won't see you grow into a fine warrior. Goodbye, Tachi. May we meet again somewhere beyond this life. Father, please, don't leave me yet. Father! And Ido Idoen, chief of clan Mi Minas, has died. No. In classic JRPG sense, death is represented by a flashing away, uh, <laughs> and fading away of the sprite. Prince Tachi. It's just Tachi now. Chief Idoen told me to give you this. It's a pendant that has give that was given to him by your mother. He wanted you to have it and gave it to me for safekeeping. So we got our father's pendant. Well, wasn't his mother's pendant? So now it's like mo the mother's and pe f father's pendant. I'm sorry, Tachi. We didn't stand a chance against the mercenary that Mato hired to lead them. Mercenary? Yes. He fought like a demon laughing at us the whole time. Malta will pay for this. I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. Tachi, even with the mercenary gone, you can't match Clan Malta on your own. Eva was right. We should have killed those warriors when we had the chance. I'm going to Malta Village, and you can't stop me. Prince Tachi, I told you. It's just Tachi now. So let's see what this pendant does. A pendant that once belonged to your father. His spirit will always protect you. Huh, okay. So it raises a bit of everything and your max HP by two, so not particularly good. Um, though it does raise a lot of stuff, including your attack, your defense, but it lowers your agility a little bit. But I think if we equip... Oh no, that's true, we replace the, uh, we replace what was the new uh, item. Uh, not new item, but the, uh... Um... News. The entire village is in mourning over the loss of Chief Idoen. Even grown men shed endless tears. Aside from your father, a great number of their friends and comrades have died. For many, Idoen is the only chief they are old enough to remember. The thought of another in his place is hard to comprehend. A friend takes Tachi aside and warns him that some think this is all his fault for not retrieving the star. Perhaps it's best that Tachi will be gone a bit longer while everyone comes to terms with their feelings. I see. Let's see if we can buy anything. Nothing new. Alright, well... I'm curious to see... Oh. Um, what will happen if we go to this village here. Because now, I can afford to cross the ferry. And maybe the ferry is very expensive, and I won't get that much money out of it. Uh, I'll waste some money going to see the loot at the other village. Uh, I might actually be able to afford something. So, um, it doesn't have a clan of its own. So let's get some news. Everyone Tachi speaks to is tense with worry. Clan Minas was one of the port's main defenses against any advance by Clan Pai. With Clan Minas weakened, they're worried the other clans won't be able to defend at it from an invasion. Well, a round trip is a hundred. Okay, that's good. The the purser stamps a wax seal on Tachi's return pass and hands it to him. Please enjoy your voyage, the purser says with a smile. So here we are. So this is Port Septa, a small port that was annexed by Clan Pai many years ago. So, what the heck? Septa Village was once an independent village, and most people here have little loyalty to Clan Pai. But the younger generation has adapted to the change and even consider themselves members of Clan Pai. Some of them say that one day Clan Pai will take port at it and get foothold on the mainland. Tachi wants to argue that his clan would stop this, but it doesn't seem likely anymore. Well, well, well. I was told there'd be a shop here, and I don't see it. 
There must be some exploration to do around here. Oh, but they're just rats. Uh, and he kills a wild rat, so the monsters aren't much tougher. Which is good news. Tachi comes to a little shack in the middle of nowhere, and a man warmly greets him. Come on in, he, he calls. We sell pet weed goras. You know you want one. Tachi makes a face. No, I don't. He argues. Weed, or, weed goras are nasty. They bite, and they smell like poo. The man replies. Oh, don't worry about that. These weed goras are bred to be pets. They're very tame, and they don't smell bad at all. The man's claims are dubious, but Tachi doesn't feel like arguing anymore. So let's see, what can we buy here? A paid pet weed gora for $1,500. Uh, it'll attack by you in battle, so that's kind of interesting, so... You know, let's remember that. Damn, we don't have... We don't have decent magic to fight them. Thankfully... Tachi is strong enough to take them all on. And we could probably grind if we wanted to, to buy some of the best stuff around here. Oh, actually, um, I would like to... I would like to go and find here, see if there's anything that could come in handy. There might be a secret area here. The game does, ex does reward us this way. Um, it likes to it likes to make us explore because then you find a new area and get you get treasure. Which is awesome. And I'm also very happy that um, I didn't uh, end up encountering monsters that are way too difficult for my level here. Which kind of happens in these old school JRPGs. Hmm. Oh. Nope. I'm, at I'm attacking the, uh, these brigands guys because I can't kill them in one shot, and magic costs uh, health in this game and not mana points. So considering I don't kill them in one shot, I don't want to risk not being full HP. Thankfully these are big battles, so I get a lot of loot out of it. Well, maybe not a ton, but... Enough that, uh... It's gonna hopefully pay off my um, my trip here, but I can't really afford a fifteen hundred dollar pet. Well, actually, I could probably use magic against these guys. This is probably the place where I want to go to get my um, an upgrade. I was told that the magic, uh, sorry, not the magic, but the items on this island were very good, but very expensive. So, going by the $1,500 rat, I don't know if I can really afford it. Well, let's check it out. The smell of sulfur from K Clan Pie's smelting furnaces fills Tachi's nostril as he enters the village. We traded in the 108 loot that we had for gold. So let's shop. We will buy herb dust, copper sword, Short sword, leather vest, and leather armor. Huh. Well, leather armor is good. Oh, we're overloaded. All right, well, let's sell. Um, leather vest, I guess. Not very good. The pistol was replaced earlier. I'll keep the boots. Um, copper sword is no longer a really viable weapon. Cloth tunic, obviously, we can get rid of. Let's get rid of this again. Oh, well, tin ore is made for selling, so is a copper sword. I'll keep the boat ore for now. Hmm. I don't need that many throwing stars. I'll sell this one. Mark of will, I'll keep this. I'll keep these magic mirrors. I'll obviously keep these... All of this. So let's buy the leather vest. Armor, I should say. I'll buy uh, two of them. No, you know what? I'll buy three of them. Why? Because it'll probably be better for everyone. In the long run. And let's get some news. News of Eodin's passing has already reached the village and they console Tashi for his loss. Idoin was long a thorn in Clan Pai's side, slowing their advances in the north, but for this he also gained their respect. 
With Clan Minas weakened and Edoin out of the way, will Clan Pai attempt to gain a foothold on the mainland? Perhaps now is not the time to ask. Instead, Tachi simply nods and thanks them for their kind words. Well, that was nice. Yes, we'll go talk to the chief. Chief Loto of Clan Pai agrees to receive Tachi. Hail, Tachi, son of Edoin. Your father's death was a great shock to all of us. I hardly know what to say. I'd hoped that my arch enemy would fall by my own hands, but now that will never be. Anyway, don't worry about it for now. There's a time to take advantage of your enemy's weakness, but not for today. In fact, no one should make any sort of advance until we know for sure who has the star. By the way, if Clan Expen gets their hands on the star, we should form an alliance to make sure they don't conquer us both. For now, go with my blessing, son of my dearest enemy. And he gives us his blessing. Increased... Uh, okay, so I don't know if this is permanent or not, but let's hope it is. And we got Title Hauler. He was awarded this for carrying so many items that he couldn't hold anymore. Maybe Taichi should sell a few things, he doesn't have to keep everything he finds. Um, I would like to keep everything I find, thank you very much. Oh, nice, a cave. Let's see if we can learn new magic here. Who knows? Actually, first, let's hug everything. Ah, nice. Maybe this magic is actually for, um, the Star Child. Another warrior seeking my wisdom. Ho <laughs> ho. No doubt you wish to learn a little magic to help in your battles to come. Say no more. I too was once a warrior before I took up the life of a hermit. Tachi, because of your innate affinity, I will teach you the spell Fury. All who enter this world burn with a desire to live. Fury will strengthen that power. Now let's practice until you get it right. So we got Fury. When cast on the battlefield, Tachi and his allies will deal more damage with strength-based attacks. Go now, Tachi. Be ready for whatever life Bear brings you. Huh, I see. Well, that's good. I do a lot of uh, strength-based damage. We have two. Um, I wonder if upgrading it would make the... Like, the more I use it, the more uh, it raises my strength in battle. Because right now my fire attack is extremely powerful. Hmm, I wonder if there's a way to get over there. I'm just gonna hug oop, this here. Of course they would attack first. There we go. No, no, no. It's because there was that one area where, um, where we could walk on the water. So I, I could see them doing a similar kind of like hidden area where you can walk on water to get to that island. So let's see. Well, looks like it's not the case. That's okay though. And uh, let's go back to, okay, I'm gonna try Fury here. Strength up, let's see what kind of damage we do. Uh, that's a bit more. I think I'm doing five damage more than I did earlier. No, it wasn't really worth it. Oops. This is Subta, a small port that was annexed by Clan Pai many years ago. Yes, we knew that already. And let's go back. Alright, so we are back. So Tachi definitely wants to go attack um, Clan Malta. But one thing I do want to check out first is if the cave that was initially blocked by clan Esco... Esco something? is still blocking the path. So now... Uh, I should have checked my strength just to check this and see. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I should have checked to see if um, my strength went down or if every time I get a blessing. Sorry, I'm not sure if I explored all these maps because I haven't come here since the beginning. I don't think I had discovered anything at that point. Well, doesn't seem like it. Oh. 
I discovered, I think there's a way to avoid these ambushes without actually fighting if you open your menu. Because if you wait, walk, and you get this, and you do this, you skip the battle, but I don't know if it's the same with ambushes. Let's see if this guy will let us through. By order of High Chief Almaty, Clan Lexpen has closed the tunnel while we clear Caven. Okay, so they still won't let us through. They haven't really changed the dialogue. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt that they're actually clearing something. Uh, okay, so they deal mostly with furs. Okay, so they don't say anything different. And what do they have to sell here? Oh yeah, it's all magic stuff. Alright. Nothing to see here. Let's make our way to Clan Malta. I wish I could go see uh, our good friend, um, our good friend Eva. I don't know where she went. I'm pretty sure she's from. No, uh, sorry. Kain is from Clan Plaus. What is what is uh, what is Eva from? I don't know. I don't remember. I should probably find that out so I could go see her. Alright, go. I don't think they would capture us again. And we've got our leather armor now. Maybe they'll, they'll capture Eva and I'll have to save her. So they're not here. We know that for a fact because we just went. I don't know where Kine is either. He got captured, didn't he? Okay, let's see. Kill Flare. Oh, we got a level up. Nice. Strength went up by one. Not a great level up, but still a level up. Um, so before I step inside, though, I will save. Taji is too late for vengeance. Clan Expen and Pai have laid the village to waste in retaliation for getting the Star Child first. But their vengeance did not stop with Maltop's warriors. Nobody was safe from their wrath. Good, good or ill, there is nothing Tachi can do here now. With his clan in ruins, it's up to Chatik to stop the Star Child from falling into Clan D Divine's grasp. There is a tunnel northwest of Minas Village that leads to Divin Divine Village. Hurry, Tachi, hurry! Okay. So there's absolutely nothing here. Alright, well that's not good. I guess the village will now be open. Huh. Alright, I wish I would have, uh, you know, they would have let me do that when I was there earlier. But that's not the case. No biggie. We got a new magic uh, ability from going to uh, Klaus, though. I mean, Pi. Clan Pi, so that's nice. Nothing to buy here. Actually, let's just step in to trade in our loot. Um, and we'll leave. We're not gonna... We're gonna not gonna lurk there too long. People are still mourning. We don't want them to see me as someone who is responsible for not being able to defend the village. Because if I'm not view, seen as someone who can defend the village, they wouldn't trust me to be their leader. And who knows how these clans work. Oh, is that kind? <sighs> what a battle! Are you okay? What happened? <laughs> I heard some woman stole the power of the star from Clan Malta. Now that it's been stolen, it's fair game. I wanted to claim it for the Clan Plaus, but as soon as I got here, some strange soldiers attacked me. I took them all out, of course. Must have been a hundred of them. They wore strange clothes I've never seen. Are they from a clan of the Northern Continent? If I were you, I'd hurry ahead to take the star for my own clan. Why don't you join me, man? I want you to join me so we can claim the star child for both our clans. Oh, well, here's Eva. Now I've got you. Do you know what you've done? A clan multip, clan multip attacked Mina's village and killed my father in revenge. I... Huh? What? Idiot, you fell for their trap. We're the bait. Oop. So who is this? A scout, eh? Okay, well... Are they weak against Kill Flare? 
I don't think so. But I'm gonna use Fury. And I'm gonna defend a little bit. See if I can raise my def my health a little bit. Ah, it's doing the trick. How long does that string up last, though? Well, it lasts a while. Maybe... Oh, no, it's gone. Alright, so I'll do Fury again. And now I'll fight him. There you go. 33 loot, 18 XP. That was pretty easy. You beat them? I'm impressed. They ambushed me as soon as I entered the tunnel. They heard you coming from behind, and I thought for sure they tra the trap would finish you. Did you see? They wear face paint like warriors, but I've never seen those clothes before. Don't talk to me like we're friends. You're still angry? I warned you we should fight over the star. Oh, we would. But because of that... You're so naive. You think everything will be fine if you just work hard and play by the rules? The world doesn't work like that, Tachi. You have to fight and deceive if you want to survive. But... I'm sorry about your father, but I had nothing to do with it. Clan Maltup did it. Not me. You're terrible. Either way, I'm not giving you the Star Child. Clan Divine will not become the next Maltup. Riger is gone. I have nothing left to live for. I will battle to the death for the sake of my clan. <sighs> now fight me if you wish to claim the Star Child. No. Then you're a coward. Too many people have died fighting over the star. I'll do what R Rygard said. I'll send him back to the sky where no clan can use him like a weapon. Rygar. Hello? <laughs> what? Can you understand me now? He can talk? It's working. I'm so glad. Let me introduce myself. My name is Soel. Can you remember that? I am Tachi, the prince former former prince of Clan Minas. Um, I'm Eva, if you must know. Why didn't you talk before? It's because of this question mark that I can understand anything in any language. This question mark? You don't have a word for it. It's this bracelet. I took it from one of the soldiers you fought. They had such a thing? Are they really warriors? They are from where I came from. But they are trying to stop me. They even shot down the question mark I got the here. I got in here, here in. So you saved me from that prison I was in. So you must be good guys. Good guys? Did you forget? I just held a knife to your throat and kidnapped you. That's unimportant now. I have to go to the question mark right away. Please help me. The question mark? You don't have a word for that either. You really are primitive. Please, take me to the continent north of here. I'll try to explain later. It may be too late. I, I guess I can do that first. We have to get through this tunnel, right? You'll do whatever God tells you. We, we were fighting over him just a minute ago. God? Yes, that's what I am. But th there are more powerful gods after me. So please, help. I don't know the way. I don't know what you need, but if it gets you back to heaven, I'll try my best. This is what Ryger wanted, isn't it? Fine, I'll help you, but only for Riker's sake. And so they joined us again. I don't want to travel with you anymore, Eva, but it will be easier with you. your help. I'll give in. Don't worry. I hate you back. <laughs> Please, don't fight everything is more fun when you get along. I hate him too. Let's get this over with before I change my mind. Well, I am glad I bought that extra armor that she can equip. It does lower their, their agility a little bit, but... Hey, he already had leather armor. Oh well, it doesn't matter. And uh, I will save and end the episode here. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Let me know what you think about this game. And in the next episode, we will bring the Star Child through this cave, and I guess we'll see what he really wants. I'll uh, see you all next time. Bye now. Hey guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate every single view. If you enjoyed what you watched, feel free to take a look at the next video or peek at a random video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.